America rumps up efforts to prevent the collapse of Israeli-Palestinian talks and to ensure Israel goes through with a Palestinian prisoner release. In Turkey, at least eight people are dead in violent incidents that erupted during local elections thought to determine the political future of Prime Minister Tayyip Erdogan. And U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry meets Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov in an effort to resolve the standoff between the two superpowers. Welcome back to the news today. This is the Daily Debate. For Arab Israelis, March 30th is recognized as Land Day, a pivotal event in the struggle over land and in the relationship of Arab citizens to the Israeli state. 38 years ago today, the Israeli government announced a plan to explorate thousands of acres, uh, echoes of uh, land for security and settlement purposes. As a response, a general strike was announced and marches were organized in Arab towns from the north to the south. In the fallout of the day, six Arab citizens were killed and about 100 were wounded. Since then, March 30th is marked not only by Arab Israelis, but also by Palestinians around the world. But what does it mean today to the younger generation for the Israelis? With me is Dr. Mordechai Kedar, direct, director of, center, uh, of the Center for Middle East uh, and Islam Studies. Good evening. Good evening. And Bashar Iraqi, advisor to Israeli parliament member, Isali Farij. Good evening. Good <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Bashar, what does it mean for the Israeli-Arab uh, youngst youngster youngsters inside Israel today? Well, I'm going to start with the definition, that you're, the term that you're using, actually, um, with, with calling us Arabs, Israelis, or Arab, Israel, Arab yeah. Israelis. Um, land Day events and Land Day as the historical event that happened in 76. Um, today, we commemorate something that happens usually and daily. Um, we are trying to remember what happened of the confiscation of lands back 38 years ago and um, the fact that the country doesn't see us as equals in treatment and uh, ideology. And I will connect this to the fact that Palestinians living in Israel mm -hmm. started to uh, reshape the identity uh, of the minority and to be more connected to the nation of uh, Palestinians and Arabs in general, uh, starting in, in 76, with, after they, they massively uh, went out to the streets, and uh, the first uh, serious clashes happened with, uh, with uh, the country, and six were killed, and hundreds uh, were arrested, and hundreds were wounded as well. So Land Day is m less of a, just a historical event. It's more of a reminder to what's happening on a daily basis uh, in many, many places uh, around the cities of Palestinian Arabs living in, in Israel. Basically bringing up again the question of minorities in Israel and uh, social and rights and political rights and the rights that an individual minority has in this uh, country. And I, and I would emphasize that one, another significant point is the identities that, that is being shaped by the Palestinians uh, that has been going through different stages and uh, different um, uh, definitions all through the, the last 65 years. Land Day was one of these events that um, set a certain tone to the identity of this minority in, in Israel. Dr. Kidar, there is um, maybe no doubt that uh, there is a certain, there is a, uh, let's say, racism against the minority, the Arab minority in Israel. There is a lack of equal rights between the Israeli Jews and the Israeli Arabs. Yeah, uh, within the in, Jews, there are uh, problems. As even you, in the, as you know. this, the, this yeah. is another totally yeah, another right. subject. No, 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 but no, if no. we're looking between the Israeli Arabs and the, the uh, Jewish Ar uh, Jewish Israelis, there is big differences, huge differences between these mm -hmm. two uh, these two societies. And okay. the rights that, they're, that, Look, they, uh, uh, that Mr. they have in the country. Mr. Iraqi talked about uh, discrimination about, against Palestinians. Are you Palestinian? I'm very Palestinian. I didn't talk about would discrimination. You please, would you please explain to the audience what your name means, Al Iraqi? Bashar Iraqi means Bashar Al Iraqi. Means that your family came from originally Iraqi, from? No, no, no. Iraq al Manshi, which is immigrated from? in 48, which is Kiryat Gat today. You're a doctor, you should know history. Okay. There are people in, 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 in Jaljulia named Iraq who are from Iraq. Al-Hurani, 
Palestinians, that's, where that's, are they that, from? That is a very large Al-Sorani, <laughs> where are they from? Al-Masri, Masarwa. This is how you're going to defend the reputation. So many, this is so how you're going to defend the reputation of, I didn't, of the, the I didn't state of Israel. You. I didn't, no, I will interrupt you when no, you say something like that. I did not interrupt you. I will. will you please? No, no, will you please? No, 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 that's, that's, will you please let me speak? That's a point. That's a point. That's a point that is not connected. Will you please? One by one. One by one. Will you please behave? No, don't, Look, don't cross the line. No, no, I'm not, I'm not crossing any line. Behave. I'm talking about facts, only facts. Here, the, what you call the Palestinian people in Israel, many, many of them, I would say even okay. most of them, are not originally Palestinians. So, they came from all over the Middle East. Wait, wait. al-Masri means, for Egyptian, Masarwa, al-Hurani, al-Sorani, Dibini, Zarqawi, and uh, 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 Iraqi, give me a so many, point. What is and the point? All, all of a sudden, Palestinians, this where are the they come Jews from? came from where? all over, the shattered nation of Jews came no, from all No, we came back to our, to our, to our country, that's, that's, which that's, was that's promised not, that's not to my us struggle with by you. the League of Nations that's in 1920. That's not my struggle with you. In 1920, I have a, let I have, me speak, I have you don't, a higher you don't, voice. You don't, I have a higher voice. You don't let me speak. You don't let me speak. That's not the point. That we came from different places. I don't deny anything. You're denying that I'm a Palestinian. Gentlemen, gentlemen, you're not. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Deny the decisions of the United Nations. Who's denying anything? We're talking about the League of Nations, which gentlemen. gave the Jews. Gentlemen, this you're, 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 you're you're being, you're being, you're you are not respecting. Gentlemen, you're not respecting. I'm doing better job. You're I'm doing better job. I'm doing better job. I'm doing better job. I'm not writing history. Gentlemen, I'm saying I'm a Palestinian. Just one second. And being one second. a Palestinian Bashar. has nothing to Bashar. do with, with where Bashar, I came from originally. I'm a woman. Hundred or thousand years ago. You're not respecting the host of the show. You're trying to rewrite history. I cannot. You're not respecting the host of the show. With all due respect to you two. So, gentlemen, please. One by one, because if you want our viewers to hear you, and if you want me to hear you, please, let's do it one by one. Finish your arguments, then we'll stick you to can... We'll the rules, Lucy. Then, we'll stick to the rules. These are the rules. Then okay. you can answer the arguments. Okay, let please. me finish, please. There is the biggest invention of the 20th century is the Palestinian people. There is not even one book which was printed more than 80 years ago, which talks about these people. Not even one newspaper. Nowhere in the world, even... You know, Palestinians, who was the king of the Palestine 80 years ago and before? Who, what was the coin of okay. the Palestinians these in this are, country? This is an invasion. And, and let me ask you, if the Palestinians, the if, the so -called, listen, listen, if the so-called Palestinians had the right to have a state here, why didn't Jordan, which occupied the West Bank for 19 years, between 48 and 67, why didn't the, Jordan, the Jordanians give you a state in the West Bank? And why didn't, it, didn't the Egyptians Egyptians who occupied Gaza between 6 7, between 40 and 6 7, didn't you give you a state when they Before could? You answer. Only when the Before Jews you answer, liberated, right. only when they, the Jews liberated the country, which was given to them by the League of Nations in 1920. Oh, only Kedar, then, Dr. only Kedar, then, Kedar, there is a Palestinian nation Dr. all of a sudden, Dr. and they're, they're right. I never yes. saw you there, so enthusiastic. Let me history. make your life a little bit harder. Okay, you're talking about the facts. Okay, facts. Your, the facts, facts that you are bringing, okay? Because the other side may see different facts. You know? the, the other side may see different facts, Dr. Kedar. But my question is, what do you do right now with the two million the three million who are living here and are feeling Palestinians. What are you going to do with them? What do you do with their feelings? Those who are citizens in Israel have the full rights in Israel according to what they do. Because they don't serve in the army, they don't serve in, 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 uh, uh, in uh, civil service even. And listen to this, the discrimination which uh, Mr. Iraqi is talking about. 90% uh, uh, of the Arabs live in houses while 10% in apartments. Within the Jews, 90% live in apartments, while only 10% are living, living in houses. Yeah, but there's is, 80 is, isn't versus this, 20%. Isn't this some kind of discrimination there's, against there's, Jews? There's 80 versus 20%. You know, there's 20% are Israeli Arabs, and there is 80% No, I'm talking about percentage, percentage. Most of the Arabs live in houses, while Jews are living in, in apartments. Now, what, what is I, I, a better uh, discrimination Kedar, against the Jews? Dr. Kedar, yes. did I let you give yeah, your yeah, arguments? Definitely. Please. Definitely. Uh, Mr. Iraqi, please. Uh, yeah, Mr. Answer. Iraqi has a lot to say. First, please. I didn't talk about Hello discrimination. Was I was invited. La ahlan wa la sahlan with people who think like you. I wasn't invited to talk about my identities as a Palestinian. I said the truth. Yeah, of course you said the truth. You're Jewish. You only say the you, truth. You, can, you cannot face. Now, I was invited to talk about land day. In 67 and 76, excuse me, I was a citizen of Israel. The fact that I say that I'm a Palestinian, and I am a Palestinian, 
that has nothing to do, it doesn't change the fact that I was a citizen in 76. Israel when Israel, is a citizen. Yes, an Israeli citizen Good. fully. Good. And Israel decided to confiscate 60,000 donums owned by us. This is why we have big houses. This land wasn't owned by you in 48. You belong to this land. You have a right to be in this land according to your religion, faith. I recognize that. That's not my problem with you. My problem with you and with the rest of people who think, sickly think, the Zionist uh, ideology of that this is ours, you don't belong to this, and now you're trying to, to read it. No, no, no. By the nations. I, no, I, I try to respect the 1920. rules. I'm very good in it's breaking rules. It. I'm very, it's yeah. very easy to break rules, especially with people who talk like you. Come on, be now, a gentleman. Go, uh, gentlemen, my, be gentlemen, please. My point to you, Mr. Kidar, I don't know why you're so nervous trying to no. defend Israel in this way. I'm doing a better way defending uh, the state and the people who believe in justice and humanity who live in Israel. Justice. And, and you are failing big time. Now, not at all. Now, this is not. This is, this is not what I expect. Someone being, who's holding being a done PhD. By, by the return of Jews to their homeland, to their the Jews returned. Land. The Jews returned to their homelands. The, to the Jews returned to their right homelands. Nobody's denying your right. You're denying yourself. To Islam, You're denying others. To Islam, Nobody's Jews talking about no right Islam. I'm not talking about. Talk to me. Talk to me. Don't talk yes. about anyone else you you visited before. You spoke to before. Argue with Bashar Iraqi, who is easily can break your argument with with all the the false facts you're saying. I did not say you don't belong to this place. I did not say you don't have a right to, to so live in this place. This, this, so is, what is this, this is historical Palestine. Palestine, yes, and this is the of course. PLO. Okay, Where is this Israel? Israel? If this is Put Palestine. your hand on your head, respect to the map of historical Palestine. This is how yes, you should. What is the, it, this it, is historical, historical Palestine. Palestine. includes Jordan and belongs doesn't to the Jews. Doesn't include, oh my God, man. This was what's given you, by the League of Nations to the Jews. Do you, what do you, do you want? teach Face people? It. Do you teach this, people? Do you teach look, people? Look at the San Remo decisions. People? Look at the San Remo you, decisions you of, the, of the League of Nations. Of course, you can ignore I, it. I really hope because he doesn't, because doesn't teach people, me. Lucy. This is, this is something that is San beyond San Remo funny. Convention, That's a San Remo Convention you, decided to give you Palestine they, to the Jews. Fact. Who, who okay. decided to give Palestine to the Jews? It is fait accompli. Who, who, okay. who decided to? The League of Nations. The League of Nations. Yes, and then the I, United Nations embraced it. I am embraced going it. to take yes. my... face it. Man. I am going to take... I don't need to do the job because you're embarrassing yourself. Again, my role as the anchor of this show, and I'm going to ask you, these are the facts. The facts is the reality that Jews and Arabs are living in this country. The facts are that there is discrimination in this country. Sure. You cannot ignore it. If you I think about marrying another wife, I'll no, be put in jail. If an Arab does it, the country pays him. There That's not is true. No, there is That's no... That's not true. As Goats in the negative. I'm How many thousands of political are, families are in the, 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 the country pays there for this? Is, you know they do it illegally. Just a second. There they is should be in this, jail. Just a second. Ju there is a discrimination inside the Jewish society against the Jewish society. Okay? okay so there is discrimination against Ethiopians in the Israeli society, against Russians Listen, in the Israeli not society. The I am. And of course, there is discrimination against the Israeli Arab, the, the biggest Israeli minority society, in Israel. The Israeli society, this the is the mosaic. fact. The now I'm asking you, both these two people and we are in this table living together. Now, you gentlemen, very intelligent, give me a solution. How can these two people actually live in this land? Because nobody's going to go anywhere. We people vote. can live yeah. together, Lucy. People can live together. Ideologies that conflict. And uh, the people that think they are superior because they are Jews are the ones I and have a serious superior? problem. Did I say superior? You're yes, talking like second. one. No, you, will, you're talking right, as, as, as if I don't, as as if I don't God, exist. I, I will give you your turn. Okay. And I have, I have learned that people can live together. Even religions can live together. It depends how you see things. And again, I want to go back to the subject of land day. That's a day where people were killed, just like in 2000. Citizens of Israel, you know what? Don't not call right. them Arabs. Not right. They, would, they shouldn't have been killed. You should have said just that before you tried to delegitimize my identity as a Palestinian. How I define myself, and I will define because myself have, the way I want, I that is not subject you to your decision, okay. but your government, okay. or your nation, Kigar, or your biblical you rights. You don't it care doesn't work you can define yourself the way you like. No, I will see literally myself. get up of my chair. We have only two minutes, so I want uh, wow. Dr. Kedar, please uh, answer. I have nothing against self-definition. The only thing is that 
Others should also let the Jews to self-define them and to have the rights over their forefathers' land. And those who deny our rights because Islam doesn't view us as people who are allowed to have a land at all, we should live as Ahl Dhimma under the rule of Islam. And we are not a nation, but a community, as many, many Palestinians say. And the whole Palestine is in waqf land according to Islam. And here you have to face I mean, your own people, your people, and you not my people. Answer because I have uh, 10 seconds. Mon you will continue, of course. Dr. Mordokha, you've been brainwashed, I guess, because this is no, not... No, I'm this reading your no, 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 sources. Don't, 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 I'm reading your... You are I writing. I'm reading I'm your Muslims are writing. You are. You can read whatever you want. Yes, in Arabic. These two men are not yeah. respecting a woman who is hosting this well, show. Gentlemen, and please give me... At least give me the respect, gentlemen, of a woman between two men. Be gentlemen. Thank you very much, both of you, for coming Thank to you, the man. studio. We're going out for a small break, two minutes break, and then we will be back with the I-24 News one-on-one. -on -one. Don't go anywhere. It's hot in here.